Welcome back to Instant Replay Live. Wow. Oh, yeah. Joe has guilt tripped me between episodes. <laughs> what? You insisted. You insisted. I had. I had. I didn't say it was difficult to guilt trip me. I'm still I blaming you. I had diminished you. my my ego enough to say I don't need to talk about this this homebrew D and D setting that I, I made. Just, I just wanted to make it. Oh, dang, I don't see these guys. So I guess they're well camouflaged. That is that is uh, true. Okay, the, but no. Man. So we're talking about talking about talking about this thing that I talking did, right? about talking about. Yeah, yeah. So, you yeah. made a very cool thing, and it's a lot of fun. So let's talk about it. So uh, yeah, in I guess. To, I mean, if you feel like you have to. I, no, we're going to we're going to do, we're gonna do it this, again this episode where we just talk about not talking about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, so okay, so we play video games, but we also play not video games, nerds. But um, one of the things that uh, so you know D and D of course, but beyond that, uh, we we've found ourselves in a circle of friends who uh, why not Let me do this. make their own settings or, or explore all the, the little random ones out there. And one of the ones that I uh, homebrewed up was a kind of gambling system mixed with this League of Extraordinary Gentlemen Hellboy esque setting. Yeah. Uh, and the, the general shtick of it was that uh, the players. Would uh, come come to the adventure, come to the game night with a character in mind from history or from fiction, like Sherlock Holmes or Nikola Tesla or what have you. Any anybody who got to fit that that League of Extraordinary Gentlemen kind of mold, and we would make up game role mechanics for them. We would modify them to make them more supernatural um, or more more super heroic, really. Um, and it was really really fun. Yeah, um, it's very freeform and open for the character creation, so you get to really make that character the way you want to be that character. So, like, I played H.P. Lovecraft in the last one you ran. Uh, I assume that was the last one. That was the last one, yeah. Unless I just wasn't invited back. <laughs> yeah. God, what a, but I got play, to play him play with... racist character. ...with powers that... Yeah, he was He was a very racist author in real life. Yeah. But I got to play the fantasy version of him with powers that... Uh, oh, I forgot to... We're, we're, we're going to read these things. Anyhow, he could summon horrible nightmare things into the world, and that was a lot of fun. Um, uh, oh, I'm Nora, aren't I? Yeah, you are. You're Nora and Aurora. <clears throat> Nora Aurora. What is this? What is this abyssal place? The dark wilds of some elf land? <laughs> Not for nobles of our race. Yeah, oh! <laughs> you said I was playing a racist character. <laughs> Where'd you learn magic? And as you well have wings, the forest lady unveiled the stars to me. Ah, you met her additionally. She gave me these magic rings. <laughs> Little did she gift me a tiny flute only. Jeez. God damn it! Jeez, what Aurora! A bitch. Look at her! Look at her grump face there. <laughs> she, too. She's a child, though. She's God, a child. She know? is such a brat for a protagonist. I am your elder sister, after all. <laughs> it is my role to guard you. These, these perfect siblings that we could have played opposite each other. <laughs> You're playing both of them. Hardly. This crown protects me from any fall. Foe? Foe on the inside <laughs> like of the crown, yeah. foe. Um, so we forgot to, in combat, switch to Nora. Yeah, can I set her up ahead? Or? Yeah. I think... Uh, or it it doesn't looks matter, like you have you can do to switch in, in combat. combat. It yeah. doesn't cost your turn or anything. All right, but so. we need to remember to do that. Oh, go ahead and slow that down. Hold up. I'm specifically go, go, holding. Go, 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 go. Oh, I thought it was done. Okay, we're fine. Whoa, I almost got my head cut off. <laughs> um, anyways, what were we talking about? Just do I need to go up there? Is uh, there anything else worth me, or can your just little white ball do it? Uh, no, I mean, I can't. I, you need to go up there. Um, well, we were talking about your system yeah, and um, how it's based on League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, sort of, but... And that, but that's not, actually, ooh, I, like that uh, I mean, you know, just the, the uh, kind of the general setup of League without having any of the, I, I don't know much of the expanded lore of the world of League of Legends, but League of Legends, but uh, League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. <laughs> but what I do know about League of Extraordinary Gentlemen that. is that it was one of the movies that I loved the most while being the most disappointed. Like, yeah. it introduced me to this idea of a superhero team that, and then it was just so bad, but I wanted it to be so good. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I I think I left the theater okay with it and then decided... Oh, what? Well, hold on. I'm not done. No, you're not <laughs> brother of mine. <laughs> yeah. I, I wasn't... Oh, I got interrupted. Way to protect me. 
Look, I'm doing my thing. You can tumble all. Will I? He's not gonna act beforehand? You got it. You're... We'll see. You've already, you've already done it. You've already passed them. Uh, okay. Damn. <laughs> Double interrupt. Alright. He's mad. Um, no, I, I left the theater not, like, hating it, because the effects weren't terrible, even though they were a little even dated at the time it came out, you sure. know? Um, and it was it was a good popcorn movie, and that's Ugh. all it sort of intended to be, but it had so much more potential, um, and that is the real problem, right? Like, that's why it's no good, because... It should have been great, and instead it was just... It was alright. You know? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely a movie that, that the creators have never had any intention of big dreams for it. Yeah. Um, just a lot of throwaway... Who was the, the writer on that one? Oh, well, um, I don't know. I mean, the, it's, it comes from a comic I'm book. I'm sorry, though, not, right? yeah, that's what I mean, the comic writer, not uh, the movie I writer. Uh, I know his name. He's an old guy, big hair. Um, did he not write... Uh, Sin City as well. Oh, okay. Not Alan Moore, but uh, by Frank Miller. Wait, no, I'm getting I'm confused. Maybe Frank it, I think Alan it. Moore is the one you're thinking of. League of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, I believe so. Did you ever see the uh, the '80s League of Extraordinary Gentlemen? Oh no, concept. I did not. Yeah, that would be another good like <laughs> if you could make your Avengers concept. Um, it had like. Marty McFly and um, um, not Nora. J not not Nora. It had Jack from Big Trouble in Little China. Oh, okay, that's a good one. That's yeah, a good one. and and a, just you know a, a host of other characters. I think it actually had Doc and Marty. Okay, it. I was gonna say I would have picked Doc Brown over Marty. I, I think it had both of them. Day. Yeah, um, um, well, that's an interesting. Yeah, it, it wasn't actually a movie, obviously, but it was just kind of a mock-up thing. Yeah. Why? Well, a talking fairy. As if a firefly, true. Ha, you are feisty blue. Aurora, this bug is perfect for you. Oh, what, what a cute dialogue sequence. Um, yeah. Oh, waterfall. What? 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 Oh, I'm, just, I'm just making noises for you flying around. Oh, what? Don't do that. I got you're, excited. You're making me feel like I'm missing something. Is that what I'm supposed to do? Go left. Yeah, I know. I, I need to, and I just keep uh, getting, like, trapped in the idea that maybe there's, like, a secret up there, but we, we're not trying to do all the secrets, so. The mirror. I fear it is there. That temple up in the air. We cannot fly that high. Perhaps there's a path through the sky. Let us ask someone nearby. That's crazy. We're in the middle of Deathland. Deathland. Hit this oh. thing. I'm going to. Magic potion. Uh, oh, what is that? This guy. Oh, what's down here? What? Look at this little rock crab. Oh, he's just a rock crab. <laughs> just steal your Ibn Ob joke. <laughs> Alright. Pass him. Uh, nothing over here other than that. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh I, yeah. I don't see these things until I'm touching them. All right. Uh, hmm. What's this this lever do? Hmm. This lever, dang it! Oh, I just oh, go out. Oh, okay. Oh, but you got you got to flip it up. You got to no. flip it. No, you do got to flip the turtle. I can't go through the bottom of the wheel. Look at it. Well, you, the wheel is the is, is high, the bottom. You need to flip it upside down. All right. See. No, no, I'm, I'm not far. trying to do it. I'm just trying to let go. There we go. I didn't know it was like. Goodness. All right. Oh. Yeah. Really. Oh. Uh huh. I know. Just the worst. Ugh. What's down here? Whoa. Death. <laughs> um. Probably a secret. Yeah. Since I'm not. What? Oh yeah. We're underneath that guy. Okay. Whoa. Watch out. Let's not fight this guy. Okay. I got Just the keep thing. On moving. Strength Stardust. Oh, that's a good one. Is it? Is I mean, it really? They're all pretty good, but. Yeah. Where, where are the bad ones? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, we will proceed to jump off this cliff on our next episode when we return to Child of Light on Instant Replay Live. 
Please Whoa. like, comment, subscribe. Tell us how we're doing. Tell us how I we're not playing with Nora. My, <laughs> my. No, we were. We did not use Nora. We didn't. Oh, I was tumbling the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I just like the jester. Um, Nora is actually my well, my second favorite. All right. Yeah, we will switch to Nora next time. But uh, my narcissism demands comments, so <laughs> please give them to me. Please.